all you Nightmare on Elm Street fans. I'm Lisa Wilcox and I played Alice Johnson in Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, and Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. And what am I doing here? Yes, I have the Hollywood sign behind me. I live here in Hollywood, in Los Angeles. And I had this idea to revisit locations where we actually filmed Nightmare on Elm Street 4. And I wanna share it with all of you. So anyway, I, um, I hope you enjoy this fun little walk down Nightmare on Elm Street 4 memory lane. Yes, we are starting on the Keds. Yes, we are. I'll tell you why in a minute. <laughs> anyway, Lisa here, and we are at the Johnson residence here in Burbank. It's the cutest house. Is it not the cutest darling house? Oh my gosh, brings back so many memories. Oh man. Um, anyway, I have to tell you, the Keds, okay, I wore Keds a lot in Nightmare 4, and do you know, these days, you can't even buy them in a store anymore? The good old canvas Keds? I looked everywhere. I had to order them online, finally. Um, and, I, and, and the Keds, I want to tell you a story about a scene that did not make the film, um, and it's a close-up of the Keds, and Alice running through the house, and she grabs, yes, a rifle. Okay, now that scene obviously did not make the movie and we know what our weapon of choice is, Rick's nunchucks. Yay! Uh, speaking of nunchucks, um, they're illegal in California, so I couldn't get my hands on any. So I made my own. What do you think? Now you know what to do with um, paper towel roll and, oh, I don't know, leftover chain from an old chandelier. Sure, you have that lying around. So now you know what to do. Arts and Crafts Day. Anyway, um, they sent us, me and Andras, to karate school for a day so that we could learn how to manage the nunchucks without knocking ourselves like in the head, right? And of course there is a body double to do like the really fancy stuff. Okay, many of you have brought up the stunt double. Yes, there's a stunt double who does the fancy stuff with the nunchucks. She did an amazing job. However, the wig, right? The wig. Oh my gosh. Ooh, kind of a dead giveaway that it's not really Alice. Anyway, it's all right, it's cool. So a little more walking down memory lane at the Johnson residence and remember this driveway scene and the trash cans. Drive up in the car, hit those trash cans because I am in a hurry to battle up for my fight with Freddy. And um, yeah, uh, I have to say the car that I was driving was stick shift and I didn't know how to drive stick shift. So that was really interesting when I'm like trying to learn how to do stick shift in like the hospital scene in the parking lot and it was like, ar, 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 ar. anyway, um, and I just met the lovely, lovely people that actually live here. And we're going to go in the back too and take a look at the scene when Rick comes out of the window and eventually I come out the window as well. All right, we're going to do some more. So here I am standing in the back porch of the Johnson residence. And yes, in 1988, this, this porch was not here. They remodeled and it's so pretty and lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, but what is still here is the famous window right there. That's the window where Rick climbs out and he's like, going to the club, honey, I think is how the line went. Something wrong with the stairs? It's a void all contact day. What? Whoa! When dads <laughs> pop an aspirin like popcorn, it's void all contact day. Waiting for a limo? I'm up to the club, honey. <laughs> Let's go. And eventually, Alice, I jump out that window too as I gain my powers and, and my confidence. So anyway, uh, pretty fun. This is just so surreal to me because uh, seriously, it feels like we filmed this like two days ago. It's wild. Um, and I have a little surprise for you that will be coming up in another episode, which is um, the actual owners of the home have their own stories about Nightmare on Elm Street themselves. So anyway, I'm not going to share too much, but you will find out. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today at the Johnson Residence. Toodaloo.